fuck. Gotta sneeze, guys. Oh, shit. Well, how you guys doing today? Damso Danino, back in this bitch. Part number four. GTA um, 3, the definitive edition. About to say San Andreas right there. Um, Yeah, guys. Uh, in the last part, we finally made it to the next island. Um, And now we're doing missions for that Asian chick and the Asian dude. Uh, it's January 28th, 2023. Uh, I'm out here rocking the Lakers. They play later on today. So I just thought I'd do a quick stream, um, get another part in. And then after that, go outside, barbecue it up and watch some, uh, some basketball or fucking the Royal Rumbles on today. But fucking watch that too. Uh, other than that, I got no real updates for you guys. It's only been a day. Um, yeah, just making sure these fucking Lord. things work. Um, but yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. GTA 3, the definitive edition part number four. Why oh, I fucking forget again. Um, you already know how to deactivate and reactivate the Elgato. Make sure it doesn't fuck up on me. Piece of shit. Um, I have yet for it to uh, fuck up on me on GTA 3. Knock on wood. It could have been just with GTA or with San Andreas, but I, I do not know. I still think that I'm kind of in, in deep waters with the fucking thing, but uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, all right. Whose missions do I even want to do at this point? I haven't really been. Is the K? Oh, the case Kenji. So that guy, he's technically the last guy. That I should be doing missions for. Um, holy shit! You gotta get over to. Um, but yeah, guys, I was thinking about it. As much as I want to do those telephone missions, they're all kind of just like pointless and boring. They're all side missions. Um, so again, if I do them, it'll be off stream. I just haven't decided if I really want to do them yet or not. But, um, yeah, we shall figure it out. I'm surprised in San Andreas they didn't keep these big-ass armored vehicles. They have, like, the the Hummer-looking ones, but I don't, I don't remember if they have, like, the big old armor ones like that. Yeah, I'm going to have to remind me. A reporter has been nosing around. Marie and I have taken a little we holiday go with the together notes. until you can get rid of this perverted voyeur. He's probably out in the bay as you read this. Steal a police boat and sink his career. <clears throat> oh, wait, 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 wait. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Can I just snipe him? I guess I can't. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh, I got armor though. I don't I don't even see where I got that fucking armor. Hold up, guys. Shit over here. Fucking stupid slides. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, now I could get up in here. I'm gonna do this one more time. Why am I taking a police one? If I could snipe him from right here. Oh, fuck. Alright, he's on the move. Bro, I was already going, man. What the fuck? Alright, yes, yes, yes. Skip, skip. Oh, shit. Uh, do I still retain all my sniper ammo? Yes, I do. Perfect. Don't jump, because, dude, how is Claude tired, man? Like, that's the only thing about this game that genuinely... How the fuck did he trip right there? This game is fucking broken, dude, to say the goddamn least.
I don't want to get too close because there's a point where his fucking shit's gonna blow up. I want her to blow up on me and then I fucking die out here. Oh man, these fucking anticlimactic ass missions. With no dialogue. I think that's what really kills the game, is just the fact again that Claude can't talk. If he was able to talk, at least he'd have some sort of personality and he was just not a fucking robot doing the mission. But I mean, this game is over 20 years old, so nothing much you can do about it. It's not like they're going to do, I mean, they could do a complete remaster, right? And they were itching for that, not a, not a just the, um, like, updated graphics and stuff like that. I, I need to figure out what those terms actually mean, because I know that a remaster is different from, like, a, you know, because one is like just updating the graphics to meet next gen requirements. And then the other one. <laughs> oh my god. And then the other one is. Um... That kind of pissed me off. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> Whatever. And then the other one is just, um, um, like getting the whole game and doing it over. <clears throat> so obviously the regular GTA 3 versus the definitive edition is just, uh, the difference is just updated graphics. Now, if you get like something like Ratchet and Clank number one for the PS2, and then you get Ratchet and Clank, uh, the newest one that came out for the PlayStation 5, they're essentially both the same games, but... They're um just like re I don't even know the word. I gotta look into it. You guys get what I'm saying. <clears throat> Damn, I gotta I gotta reget my guns, dude. I'm just gonna be killing these guys and taking their. Yeah, that guy dove towards me. If you have anything interesting to say at all. That's phenomenal. Probably one of the reasons there are so many single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. Oh, wow, well, I'm on the radio. How exciting. Oh, thank you, Laszlo. Uh, is this on the radio? I mean, am I actually on the radio? Hey, guys, so earlier uh, uh, yes, I ate are. a I'm sure gas station exciting. burrito. You know those little deep fried ones? Those things are fucking good. I don't care what you gotta say about it's those, if they're unhealthy, whatever, night. those fucking burritos are Maria's good. All tied up at the moment, what do you guys think? Do you I'll guys like them gas call. station burritos? I, I fucking love them. Go, I really need to pee, okay? It's time you met our man inside <clears throat> the LPD. Here's a payment for the last little job he did for us. Look. He's understandably cautious. Get to the payphone in Torrington as quick as you can and await his instructions. Yep. Can you give me some weapons? I drowned because of you. Come here, Yakuza. Another time mission, huh? You see how these guys just will dive into your fucking hood? Oh fuck, excuse me. What do you mean like It's all gas station burrito right there. That he's on the radio? Well, probably not. Um you're listening to Chatterbox, or your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Ooh. Hello, caller, what's your name? Chatterbox. Hello, <laughs> what's up? I want to tell you and your listeners about a once in a lifetime chance to make a difference. It's a rally tomorrow evening at the park. Starting at the seven. All the old Kenny Banner's theme song all night, all day to prepare for it. Then, when tens of thousands gathered in the park. Get to the payphone on Little Italy. Oh my god! 
Why? Why do you fucking make me travel and do all this shit? What are the what's the purpose of these missions? Like the fact that Rockstar literally sat down with the team and thought about all these missions and said, Oh yeah, we should make them fucking drive from point A to point B to point C just to pick up fucking payphones and with no real dialogue behind each phone call besides get to the payphone in Times Square. You know what I mean? It's just fucking pointless. I don't understand the concept and the purpose of these payphone missions. Get to the payphone. What's the purpose of this? Once I'm not and crashing, I'll come with. What kind of speech are you? It's a rally. You don't know what it's for, do you? It's trouble. Please come, everybody. You'll be real good. All right, you fight the power, brother. Say later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's. I'm just glad that I'm not that far off from being in this game, I think. <laughs> I could very much well beat it uh, tomorrow. If I really crank it, uh, crank out a few hours, so. I don't know, we'll see. I'm about to run out of fucking time. Meet me in the toilet block in the park. Salary. We're going to talk to I mean, I can kind of maybe understand the concept of it just to make sure that Claude isn't being followed. Starts from the ground up. At Eris, we make but still, dude. In fact, you can this is a fucking game. This isn't real life. countries around the world. In the past, there's been some crit I'm good, or oh, I don't have any more time. Who the fuck's that? You must be Azuka's new errand boy. You got the money? Is it all here? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Another bent cop. Well, it's a bent world. Oh. Just because I lost a few partners, those suckers from internal affairs have started sniffing around. Reckon they can smell me. Well, this city is one big open sewer, but I'm gonna need some non-union help. And if you're interested, you know where to find me. Not to do missions for that guy. Uh, hold up. I actually want to see. <laughs> I want to see real quick. Uh, the fucking the GTA map again. The gun map, because since I fucking ran out of weapons, um, I need to uh, start looking for some more weapons. Well, it did say that there is a shotgun at that park. <clears throat> but anyway, Ladlo, I'm deadly serious. Uh, My mentor was a 430 year old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment and to a character. Uh, okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Ladlo. This is a way of life. Thank Whatever. I'll figure it out. Oh. 
no offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. It says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay. Bro, it was either I crash or I run over all those people. <laughs> I chose the the route to go to hell. Face Tanner. Maria and I have gone shopping. Our source in the police has informed us that one of our drivers is a strangely animated undercover cop. He's more or less useless out of his car, so we've tagged it with a tracer. Make him bleed. All righty. It really saved my life. Why, well, thank you. I wanted to ask about chapter 29 and yoga, not yogurt. I just can't give it cheese. So, hey, what the hell is it? I reject the top right now. Have a better ask my life. It's fucking. These low key have really bad steering. <laughs> you see how those dudes are literally like diving towards the hood? That Kenji? Died of nuts, berries, and leafy vegetables. Wait, no, it's not. Threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Lazlo, soul, is he Here we go. But let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by the all. Oh my God! And he's gonna damage his own car. Holy shit! Yeah, man, these guys are not fucking around. I just, all I gotta do is make sure that somehow that full shit explodes. Yeah, my shit don't explode. Dude. The aggressiveness of these fucking drivers is annoying. that Take that, those big rigs, huh? That's not a bad idea. Because then at that point, they can't bully me. Yeah, you see, like, they're catching up to me, but... Holy fuck, I just hit a four star. Is that Don K Kesta rated with party of 16? Huh. Well, thank you for that raid, buddy. I don't know why you chose me out of all people. Uh, thank you to GMUNA for the follow. I appreciate it, buddy. You guys got me all fucked up right now because I'm trying to focus on getting this guy. And shout out to Con underscore zero one. For the follow. <clears throat> yeah, guys, I'm just out here trying to fucking. Huh? 
Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Uh, shout out to Donksta for the follow. He's the one that rated me. Thank you, buddy. Currently at four stars, and I'm chasing some dude. Fuck, man. Here we go. Holy shit. Yeah, this is not going to work out. I'm going to end up dying. Get one, of, let me get one of these. Come on. Yeah, I don't know how much these armored vehicles can put out. I hope they don't blow me up, though. Oh, dude, that dude's fucking far now. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Trying so hard to break. These fucking cops are so fucking aggressive. It's annoying. Fuck. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, where did that, where did that guy go? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, the fact that I've made it this far without dying is kind of crazy to me. I think an easier... Yeah, I was going to say the easiest thing is just getting fucking busted. That's bullshit. Uh, we started GTA 3... Tonight, pure nostalgia. Shopping. Fuck yes, Our it is. And the police has informed us God damn, one... this mission's fucking aggressive, though. And the thing is, I don't have any weapons or anything. I think it might be best to just go to the... The ammunition right here around the corner and just getting a fucking bazooka and blowing his ass up before he get three cops. I'm gonna try that. Not rugby, hot dog. Man, get me in a scrub and I'll stay... I'll take anybody's down. I'm the hot scotch master. I got fly skills, hot scotch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of see your... All right, here we go. Wait, I just fucking completely missed the ammunition. All right, let's go back. It's time for some commerce. Here, let's go to commercials. We'll be back after this. I have 300k about to hit nine, so... You want a license, too? What do you got? Now give me some armor. Give me that. Just give me everything. Any grenades? Give me that. I need more grenades. Give me more grenades. 3,000. Or is that 30,000? Yeah, just give me more grenades. Give me all that. Alright. Should be good now. Hopefully. <clears throat> Bro, how does Claude get tired from just walking, man? It's bullshit. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still married. But on Wednesday afternoon, I meet Barbara in the hotel by the I think I should just pull up in that fucking in one of those. I need I need like a very heavy car. So just in case I am getting caught uh chasing him, I don't get bullied by the fucking cops. They're aggressive ass driving. Alright. Mom, there's a package for you. But I didn't order anything. What's this? How sweet. Gee Willikers, it's a puppy. Oh shit. Alright, here we go. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? Alright, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me last. Alright, here we go guys. Hopefully we could um blow this dude's car up without attracting a lot of attention. Does he stop? Ah, uh, no, he doesn't. People are rude and they don't seem to care about anything but themselves. Ah, oh, man. Perfect example. The other day, I stopped at the store to pick up an exercise bar. I gotta, like, figure out his route, get in front of him, and blow his bitch ass up. So I get out my checkbook and the guy behind me just like, okay. Oh, I think this is good enough right here. Oh, my God. He took a right turn, you bitch. Ooh, lady. 
Fuck, and I got a cop already. <laughs> Alright, well here he is. Oh my god. Can't let him hit me because if he hits me then I'm gonna get three stars automatic. Alright, where is he going? Where is he going? Where is he going? Is he going? Okay, he's taking a right turn? Left turn? Yeah, you ain't getting... Fuck! Yeah, uh, you bitch. Alright, now we're gonna do this all over again. Yeah, the problem is I think that car's faster than mine. I can just get out of my way, stay out of my way. Yes, the, the military. That's right. The military teaches you respect. OP Oh wow. Fucking 180! Oh my god. I always get so close and then he fucking takes an erratic turn and I fuck up. Alright, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? That didn't help me at all either. Get out of there. Is that enough to blow us up? Ah, oh, dude, no, it wasn't. All right, that might do it. That might do it. Fuck, it didn't. Damn, that guy's sly. I almost had him, dude. That's fucking bullshit. Is he, anyways? Because if you are, you're gonna get real intimately acquainted with what your brains look like. My name ain't Tony, okay? Dude! Alright, give me that fucking car. Get in there. That guy's fucking long gone. And right now, I'm obligated to play some commercial announcements. We'll be back right after this. We get a new Dude. <laughs> that fucking that cop just uh fell through the bridge. Dumbass. And now I just did it. But I didn't die. You guys have no idea how fucking annoying this mission is. Serve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You guys will go through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy who fell down the well. Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. I might be able to get him head on right here. Yep. All right. Head on, head on, head on, head on, head on. 
Oh my god, he fucking took a right. You bitch. This guy's bound to fuck up. Left, left. Oh, bitch! Alright, now instead of hitting him, I'm just gonna pull up and just start shooting at him. Let's drive him off the water. Yeah! Fuck! Oh, wait, no. He did it. Yes, yes, he did! Yes, fuck you, you piece of shit, and fuck this stupid mission. Shout out to all the homies that were just watching me right now, because we just did that. God damn, now I blow up my fucking army truck. That's exactly why this game pisses me off sometimes. But we did it. No more. Fuck. All right, let's go to Kenji and do his missions now. Jesus, man. Well, Jesus. Dude, that literally took me like 20 minutes to do. I'll never be a fucking speedrunner at that rate. I'm actually gonna look that up. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look at that mission, and I'm gonna see how the fucking speedrunners do that shit. But yeah, uh, I do want to give a special shout out though to Donksta. It is impossible Thank to you for that raid, buddy. Shout out to GMUNA. Why? Shout out to Con underscore O one, and shout out to Donksta again for the follows. Love you guys, buddy. The man's weakness is with the cards, and yet request that they reacquire him to the others for his collection. Needless to say, we must give him the cards as a gift to repay the debt that I owe him. You must obtain the cars on this list and deliver them to a garage behind the car park in Newport. My honor demands it. Alrighty. The Romantic Cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflarn.com and sleep your way Eh, you bitch. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. I knew my boxy monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, well, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials. Don't you... This is Chatter. What am I doing? Are, uh, taking your calls right now. Am I making? Am I stealing all these fucking cars? <laughs> yeah, it looks like I am. I'm hot tonight. Chatterbox, what is on your mind? Vertibles, fruit vegetables, albino carrots as they're known back home. Okay, here's the deal. This isn't gardening with Maurice. That's on later. No, he got taken off the air. He lied. I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fight bitch for the last two years. And it is impossible. Impossible. God damn. <laughs> That guy would just fucking repair the car. It's gonna be not needs to be mint. Okay. Hi, Lazlo. I love the show. I'm a first time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are warping our kids' minds. My son's dog, Bugo, got hit by a truck, and he says, Mommy, Mommy, we're I think uh, I dropped it off right next to it, too. Yeah. It's not a game, Lazlo. It is very. At least it's convenient, you know what I mean? You're not driving from place to place. I don't even think it's in all the way. That's what she said. Monkey? Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. <clears throat> the fuck happened? Chat was cleared by moderator. What? I should have just took that van, huh? There's 
one right down the street. I'm gonna go for that one first. I actually need to be conscious of my of the time though. Two minutes or, or three minutes. All right, let's do this, Claude. Uh, where's the exit? There it is. Owned by Love Media, advertising revenue paid by salary. And on that note, it's been a couple minutes since a commercial. Like Fucking clearly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pharmaceuticals. We'll be back after these important messages. Hello. I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox mm, is my God. Oh, my wait. I can get off the Ask vehicle, your right? About Equinox today. Equinox may cause nausea, loss of sleep, blurred vision, leakage. All right. Yeah, I think I fucking failed this, dude. Again. I swear to God, these missions are just made for you to fail. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grand. I don't even think that's fucking close enough. Putting at each other. I was. Do I get more time? No, I don't. Yeah, I'm not. There's no fucking way I'm gonna pass this mission now. Wow, that's a bitch, man. <clears throat> Talk to your boss. On your mind, line four. You're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Yeah, there's no fucking way. I'm just gonna jump off the deep end and we'll restart the mission. <laughs> Fuck, man. Okay, great. Another lunatic. Hello. They got a beer over here. You are on. It is impossible to overestimate the importance of etiquette in this line of work. Uh, to my eternal shame, a man once did me a favor, and I've never yeah, had guys. the opportunity to repay Got a beer right kindness. here? The man Go get yourself a beer, drink it up, and yet request have a good time. Have a good time. certain models for his collection. Needless to say, we must give him the card and the gift Ooh. to repay the debt that I owe him. You <clears throat> must. All right, let's do this. I know what I'm doing. Gotta be locked in. <laughs> Not crash any cars. It's hot tonight. Turn on your fucking turn signal, bitch. Wow. Bro, that's some fucking too fast to furious shit right there. Perfect insane stunt. 360 bucks. That don't have guns aren't American. Don't crash. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. All right, we're not going over here to line crash. two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Drive like a normal citizen. I mean, the Lone Star State. Drink a beer. And act like one too. Fuck. How, how are you gonna turn or switch lanes and still cut left? You fucking idiot. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. Well, well, I'm sure. But, but the thing is, 
Alright. Nanny would spank me. Here we go. And now now Freddy needs a nanny. Because when Freddy's naughty, he needs Alright, open it up, bitch. Well, Thank there's you. some child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful. Go get that van. Come on, Claude. Fucking lazy ass. Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys, nannies, taxes, and anything sane you'd like to bring to the party. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. I was listening to that caller about taxes. Are you sexy or about society? Oh my god. Why are people afraid of stoppers? I'm I'm okay on time right now, but fuck, dude. Cartesian coordinates. After this message. Right. In today's fast paced world, the split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams hey, I just want to know peace right. and not. Drives carefully. All right. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall Oh, just go! Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, guys. Two days later, I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent 20... Alright, we're looking good. We still have two full minutes. Thing I need right now is to get cops. Here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. Oh, this site should be pretty easy. Even if I crash, I think it should still be pretty easy. A decent amount of time. Looks like it's one way traffic. This one has decent. Rush, rush yes, to the yayo. It must also be like a brother. The woman, she must be many, many arts. Be skilled oh, in making <laughs> I should have gone around. Right. Dude, get, get out of the fucking more. way, man. Thank you. It is impossible to change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. 50 seconds. Well, I mean, you know, Still good. No, I mean, how do you keep the no damage. Excitement. Exactly. Passion. Danger. How, Laszlo? How? Dude, just completing this get or this I mission right here should get um you should get a damn kiss. Like I give a woman, but I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like. Thank God, man. Fuck. With 30 seconds to spare, your average fucking gamer or your your average 10 year old is not doing that in six minutes. Just saying. <laughs> Fuck. I'm a full blown adult and I struggle doing that. <laughs> Fucking Kenji. Hey, but we passed though, right? Lord. Oh shit, what wrong one? Did I fucking hit a cop or something? <laughs> Alright, here we go. When trouble looms, the fool turns his back while the wise man faces it down. 
the Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a yummy car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! Uh, the cartel is expecting. I didn't read the whole thing, but here we go again. Some bullshit. I think you see by now. Let you me read the the brief. Uh, the cartel is expecting a yardy posse. Go steal a yardy car. Head north. Parish bank. He's thinking about what you think. Well, let me. What the fuck's a yardy car? You already know that. See. Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy? For your little secretary with the short skirt, ah, and pretty eyes, and uh, okay. come here, come there, smile, and what then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual <clears throat> harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend, but you more likely, your marriage is ruined. <laughs> your sweetheart, she hates right. you. Your pretty secretary. So it's telling me, or it was telling me, they're all located like on in Newport. Yeah, so like right here. You are in Oh, I don't want to go on the fucking main road, bro. Yeah, like and you don't put marriage first. The man first. Maybe we call it marriage. Yeah, but <laughs> Yardy's like a burgundy gang bar. Fuck. So, how does this work? It is a miracle. Oh, there's one right there. Yeah, it's these, those cars right there. And look at that cheetah fucking interior. Oh, these, these have hydros. Fuck yeah. Well, I'm all paranoid. I feel, I still feel like I need to drive to safe. Yeah. And my shit's lagging. All right, let's go, bro. What song is that? Fuck out of my way! And and do the wives know about this? Oh fuck! I don't even bring it back down. Adjust hydraulics. Go down. If you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy, bring us now. Hey, oh, cool. There's my wannabe Tokyo Drift right there. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. <laughs> my name's Jerry. I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bustable woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A man, if you will. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the fuck? She is gone. Are we ambushing this or what? You see, Laszlo, they're all Colombian. Guess what? Now it's mission failed because his dumbass. Wait, what happened to the guy? Oh, that guy died too. I thought we were supposed to keep him alive. All right, fuck that guy. Out of here. It is a duty to love his wife, even if he is like a farmer. And now Jerry is saved by sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save him. Beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. That's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Lanza. Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me. Am I getting chased? Who is this gutter trap? <laughs> hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on. Hey, you like yourself, sir. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he's not make you happy? No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good Why are you so ugly? You sound very pretty. Angry and a little bit of a know it all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, Ashley. The 
women they think a new beginning is only for men. But no, it is for women too. For Janice, if her husband goes to new beginning, she thinks Senor Wonderful all over again. And in the extreme case, maybe she comes to work for me. And she get a new beginning herself. She just goes Alright, there we go. Kenji's. So his casino is called Kenji's. <laughs> Shima. To be truly strong, it is important that you never feel weakness. The businesses fortunate enough to have our protection settle their accounts today. Go and collect the money immediately so we can enter it into the casino accounts. Getting any younger either. <laughs> I'm hot tonight. When delivered, just log on to petsovernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. Petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love. Okay. Now I feel and like now I'm gonna get ambushed. To public service announcement from station owner Donald Love. Hello. My name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. All right, we're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and a closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about Bro, what are you doing, Claude? You know the I don't want that bad. I need a better one. <laughs> I get your wiener from this beaner. Some young gang just hey, shout out to Bob, number one employee. You guys are useless. What kind of yakuza are you anyway? And that's their number one employee. Be Uncle I BJ's? More people are talking about this. I mean, killer bees swarming, and it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees have nothing compared to ants. You can't kill them. They are like sheep that are going to take over. All right, thanks, caller. Ants, killer bees, bad people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses in the city. Hammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about God what we're having damn. for dinner. What we should do is turn them up, put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Phone. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You want to round people up for using the phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. Well, we're back in the other island where we first started. About to go fuck some shit up. How many people? There are three of them. What the fuck happened there? What are you speaking to me on? What's, it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are. You're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined it. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Liar! You're the liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> are you, are you, are you so old? Fuck! Uh. 
Oh my god, the mob is not fucking with me anymore. Is your job uh, affecting your right. health? Do you become fatigued? Does working take time? Yeah, usually whenever it's shit like this, guys, like it's just best to kind of find a nice little place, pull out a rifle, start fucking bombing these guys. And yeah, that's it. Easy. Can result in a large damage award you can either make this really hard or really easy. And in some cases, the missions are just too hard that they're not gonna be easy. in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for insurance. Give me all that fucking weapon. All right, let's get out of here. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make the viewers aware that. Okay, now this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international <laughs> puppetry festival is next. You still send viewers, bro. If you're interested in becoming a hey, puppet shout out master, to my viewers though that are viewing this right now. I love you guys. Out, dude. It's gonna be totally killer. I hope you guys are drinking a cold one with me. Oh my God! Talk about. Fucking uh. Yeah, the Bob is definitely not fucking with Claude after he killed um Leone. So that Salvatore guy. Yeah. Fuck out my way, bitch! Yeah, they're lucky that the center median is actually closed because if I was driving on the slow lane, <laughs> yeah, just like that guy, they'd fucking go right into the center median and then they'd fall off like on the, that other overpass. <laughs> Playing a prank on Kenji. He's fucking thinking that the cops are pulling up to his casino, but it's actually Claude. <laughs> Ten racks. <clears throat> Alright, let's go do some more. Claude can't get enough of fucking candies. <clears throat> So what's up with y'all? All the viewers that are viewing, what's up with you guys, man? Talk to me. <clears throat> Smackdown vs. Raw, 2007. You. How fitting you should choose this moment to sow your worthless faith. It would appear your attempts to dissuade the Jamaicans from becoming bedfellows with the cartel were wholly inadequate. Yardy pushes line Liberty Street, selling packets of spank like they were selling hot dogs. Those so? cartel pigs are laughing at us. At me, I will give you one last chance to prove my sister's faith in you to be well founded. Run these scumbags into the ground and wash your shame in rivers <coughs> of our enemy's blood. Okay. You must murder at least eight Yardy dealers. That's it. I uh, kill them quickly. Once they punish their sp get their spank off their street. Bro, I've killed fucking legions of people throughout my career in GTA. I've killed whole countries and societies. <laughs> Killing eight people. It's all chain man. Not a big deal. Oh my god, see? And that just adds to the body count. Laszlo, clothes. You got it. Hey, police! I got a fancy in South Belleville. 
Oh shit! Oh, thank God. I was about to say, uh, where's the closest ones at? Okay, so there's three up there. No, I really didn't need to know that. Why, Laszlo? Why? Did it fed you? I was born naked. I'm gonna die naked. I'm going to live. Yardy's off the street. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's sort of figuring feeling the hot leather of a chair or the cool wind in the north on your naked body. I, I, I'm gonna have to cut you off. Don't you believe in free speech? Free expression? No, of course you don't. All you believe in is free drink. I'm naked. There's not a damn thing you can do about it. I'm naked and I feel so good. Well, what about winter? What do you mean? You know, I mean, what about winter when the wind blows? Achievement, cold, street sweeper. <laughs> like Waste 100 gang members. To go blue? I was born naked and I'm gonna die naked. <laughs> and I was shriveled up by the sound of that. Which one is invented by clothing companies? Clothes are unnecessary. They're ugly. I Said I need to kill eight of them, huh? No, look, it's just leading me where we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Take off your pants. Come on. Come on, Laszlo. You can get Yeah, Laszlo, what the fuck, dude? We have one member now for the first time since not accidentally cooking yourself or one more homies. We're not swingers. It's about being one with the world. Alright, dude. Groovy. Hug a rainbow. It's time for a public service announcement from Donald. Hello, I'm Donald Love. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged as the fastest growing US run media conglomerate of the past five years. With newspapers, television, and radio stations across the US and the free world, alongside a Don't walk on the sidewalk. Sidewalk. Okay. We love media there we go. You get the truth Is that it? The story every time. From films to dogs. Said at least kill eight. Music. You can be sure of independent, quality-led broadcasting every time you tune in. That's why we're the fastest-growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast, and why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Oh Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. I didn't even do anything. Oh, shit. All right, well, that does it for fucking... That dude, holy shit. Oh, okay, yep, I'm out of here. That does it for um Kenji. Now we go down here to the bathroom and talk to that one... Fucking guy. <clears throat> that scumbag, McCaffrey. He took more bribes than anyone. He thinks he's got an honorable discharge. What's that McCaffrey dude's name on the 49ers? He just squealed. He's under armed protection in Wichita property down in Newport, some apartment behind a car park. Touch that place. That's it. Flush him out and you hunt him down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. Oh, fuck's yelling. I think one of my uncles just came over. He's just fucking yelling. I mean, he doesn't do it intentionally, but he has a very loud voice. Oh my god, dude. This, this fucking little SUV cannot turn for shit. Look at this. Banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. God damn. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. And help Pogo right, to what? his final mission. Do I have to chuck a grenade in there? Oh my god, I do. Okay. I mean, shouldn't it should I like have some roses with the speaker outside and start singing and shit before I do this? Wear them out. 
Okay, yeah, see that that that's where I see we're gonna have some problems. <laughs> it's clear that Claude is a professional hit man, not a fucking NFL quarterback. Oh! <laughs> and there goes his car. Dude, this is not gonna work out. <laughs> so you want me to chuck a grenade in there? Let, okay, let's look at the brief. <laughs> Force the place, flush him out, hunt him down. There was no way that- Oh my god. Hey, got my crafty. Dude, I don't even have a fucking... I should've took him out when I had the chance. I'm an idiot. Holy shit. Oh my god, that guy has a fucking AK. McCaffrey escaped. Alright, here we go. So as soon as I chucked that first grenade, um, <clears throat> so as soon as I chucked that first grenade, I should, um, actually I have a, I have an idea and no, I'm not going to take that fucking soccer mom SUV anymore. Fuck all that. But I have an idea guys. What we're going to do, we're going to get this vehicle or that other vehicle that's parked right next to the, um, Park right next to that, or opposite of where McCaffrey's at. We'll get that one and we'll just park him all in front of McCaffrey's uh, garage. That way he doesn't have any time to drive out and I can just start chucking fucking grenades in front of him. So is this McCaffrey guy a fucking cop or something? If so, then why, why, why is it that I'm over here stealing vehicles, doing paint sprays and dropping off vehicles on that side? All right, watch. And a fucking cop lives here. And doctors. So this is what I was thinking. You get the taxi. You literally put it right there. Then you get that other SUV. And you just hammer it. Um, nah, not the nose. Like that. Good luck getting out of that shit, McCaffrey. Um. Alright. Okay, that one didn't go in. That one didn't go in either. There, that one went in. <clears throat> oh, please don't tell me that. Oh, yeah, you see? Told you that was gonna work. Fuck you. God, man. Work harder. I mean, work harder. Work smarter, not harder. And you can do all of this. Um. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to call it right there. Again, I'm super thankful for the homie Donksta and his legion of people that, that he brought on during the raid. I appreciate you, buddy. I'll definitely go over to your channel and check you out on Twitch and YouTube. Um, to the other viewers that still stayed, I appreciate you guys staying. Uh, it is Saturday, guys, so ease up a bit. Go drink a fucking beer. Have yourself a good fucking day. If you're under 21, don't drink. Please don't drink. Just uh, just be normal. Go watch somebody else uh, stream and shit. But yeah, guys, if you're on Twitch, go over to YouTube. Check me out over there. I upload obviously gta3 i just finished uh san andreas not too long ago and i also did uh, vice city um back in november of last year um and if you're and i also do a lot of uh, little shorts and stuff and that's where i'm kind of more successful at you're on youtube head over to twitch check me out there be streaming all the time chat me up etc etc other than that guys i'm dumb you know i'll see you guys in the next part of gta Three, the definitive edition. Peace and fucking chicken grease, guys.